you need to make sure that your frame is safe. By far, the most common failure mode that I see for simple structures like this is bending. Either bending in the legs or bending in the cross members that's supporting whatever load your structure is taking. Right now I'm being commissioned to reinforce these legs because they've failed due to bending. My customer undersized these legs for a really cool structure that's holding solar panels to generate electricity over their blueberry crops. But when they made their frame, they chose thin walled conduit as opposed to structural steel. And so what I'm gonna be doing is sistering each leg. That means putting a column in parallel with the existing columns to reinforce them. They're gonna be sisters, just like this. Once I have the three legs supported that haven't failed, I wanna tie a ratchet strap or a rope to this bent leg, force it back into position parallel with the other legs, and then add the fourth sister. And then at the end, we'll go through the calculations to see how we could have avoided this in the first place. So real quick, we'll clamp the first three sisters into position. I have the three parallel legs sistered with some quarter inch angle iron, and now we can weld them in. Okay, the three good legs are sistered, and so now I'm gonna grab this one and see if I can cinch it in. Hopefully, this bad leg will start to bend before this one that's reinforced. And after reforming the fourth leg, the final sister can be welded in. And that's how you sister legs on a structure that has failed due to bending. Now for the calculation to see how we could have avoided this in the first place. Here's our structure. I know it has wheels, but I'm gonna model its feet as fixed because I'm assuming that the wheels are shoved up against a berm or a rock so that we can get the maximum moment load in our leg. Maybe it's really windy. Let's say that there's a 50 pound force coming in from the left and we know the legs are 84 inches long. These are steel legs, so their yield strength we can approximate as about 36,000 PSI. The normal stress due to bending equation is MY over I. The moment is just that 50 pounds multiplied by the 84 inches or 4,200 inch pounds. The Y and I are geometric parameters. So let's look at our leg right here. It was originally a tube. The bending axis or neutral axis goes through the tube's centroid and because the outer diameter is one and five eighths inches, the Y value or the distance from the neutral axis is half of that, it's the radius or 0.8125, which is 13 sixteenths. And for a tube, I is pi over 64, outer diameter to the fourth minus inner diameter to the fourth. We know the inner diameter is one and a half inches. So plugging and chugging, we get 0 0.0938 quartic inches, inches to the fourth. Plugging all that in, we get that our bending stress is 4,200 inch pounds times 13 sixteenths of an inch, all divided by 0 0.0938 inches to the fourth, and we get 36,380 PSI. Now, this is a condition for failure because the bending stress is greater than the yield strength, which means that the strength of the member is too weak to withhold the stress. Of course, there are four legs, but on rugged terrain, it's very possible that only one wheel will be making contact with the ground at any given moment. So we need to assume this 50 pounds is going into only one leg. So having done this calculation, we see that our factor of safety is less than one. And so in the design stage, we have a few different things that we can play with. We can either change the environmental conditions, if possible, so that we never have an applied load this great, we can change the geometry. If we made the leg shorter, the moment term would be smaller. We can change the cross-sectional geometry with a thicker wall, for example. We end up with a larger area moment of inertia that would reduce our bending stress. Or we could change our material. Here's a 36 hot rolled standard low carbon steel, which is 36,000 PSI yield strength, but we could have chosen a stronger material. So we have all these different dials we can turn but it's important to reference this equation when you're designing legs for a structure to make certain that you have a factor safety of greater than one. 
Otherwise, it'll fail due to bending, and you'll have to go in and sister the legs like I did. Mm -hmm.